Kwa ndio baya ya kuwa ukona DM mzeku kuliko, always in control. Mtuka na saka bahanye sa hii, haizi ambia DM yake, kaa hapa chini wacho ukuzi. This is a nonsense case. Come on! Why would you do that to somebody and you know it's a lie? She's lying. Allah, that bitch is lying. Bitch be lying or oh, we saw the lie. Mimi sina feelings. So it means that Munga Eve paid for Mimi nasema Trevor alikuwa nilipe, haku nilipa. So why would I give an interview for free? Do I look stupid? Beautiful night. We are right here at Nairobi Kitchen Street and we are chilling Street with... Kitchen. Street Kitchen. <laughs> Nairobi Street Kitchen. Na tuko hapa kwa show ya Andrew Kibe and we have uh, the legends here, the good comedians. Legends. The kings. Kings. Yes, sir. One of the best. Yes. Oh, not one. Best of the best. Best of you, the best. You're listening to a legend. Sabato, Sabato. You know, you know Sabato, Sabato. Sabato is a homie. Fuck that. Sabato, Sabato is like, now, we can't call you a legend. Kwa sabu, ufanya mzi, kuroa kitambo. And that, I got a point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tukuita legend, you need a kitambo. Anyway, uh-huh. So, mwanza, wacha tuwanze na kibe atuambie, what inspired him to come up with this show? And you I'm a comedian. Mm -hmm. I love Jesus like, inspired uh, me. What's Jesus. The direction okay. we are taking. Uh -huh. uh, we we've already started with the uh, street kitchen. You yes. already mentioned this is your first show. Yes. To ambie what is your uh, your unelekea wapi ni stand up stand up. I love me pull to ko na wakimani to ko na shiti to ko. Chipe za comedian. Yes. Ni mji biyo tu yamaja kablenda yapo. Almekuwa na talent ambao ajui. Kwa sababu kuna watu pia tumeishi kujua mbara mbamba ni mwimbaji. Wangapo alijua ni mchawi. Hakuna mtu alijua ni naitrana. Ni talent ambao. Hakuwa na kuzi ya mtu lea deki. Mbara mbara. Asa hizi unajua na liaje? Serekari tafadhali. Mbukumbuke niko na watoto. Ama upendi this way. Sasa uluku kuna swali muhimi maulizu. The direction ni gani tunatake, tunanza stand up hapa leo mbesema next ni Rizolet. Like what is your vision and motive of this show? The vision is to bring stand up to Africa. We have a lot of stand up comedians but atitakuwa na yo opportunity yako give us give the the raw version of what stand up really is and i think this is where it starts so today has is, is a big night for me we start tonight so i this me and this team and we shall keep growing this team with like minded individuals we don't know how far we can go but our next stop april 2nd we shall be in eldoret ataka tutaipigia kwa stadia tutaipigia but april 2nd to call eldoret and then after that we shall go to kitale after Kitale, uh, Kisum City. Kisum City. Uh, yes. Mbana City. So we are just refining our craft. Ata West Pokot pia. By the way, kuna wat. Ando upele kenyanyako. Maybe Andrew Kibe, do you have plans of introducing some other comedians like the likes of Nasra Tumbili? Um, Tumbili is a wanker, so I'm not introducing him. But, I mean, whoever whoever is in, is in our spirit, spirit here yeah, being free without no holds barred so that's the, that's the idea of the group and that's why i called all these people from rapture to wakimani shiti uh, nikki big fish i find these guys to be free spirits just like me so that's what we're looking for mm. you just said you didn't expect to see a lot of people here maybe who expectations that was it i didn't expect to 30. i saw you going to but you know, the, Jesus gives us hard-ons every morning, so it's not a big deal. Yes, but yes, it has been a very successful night. Yes. And maybe for my fans, because I know they are really expecting to see more of this. Now, Leo Isho is live. 
is it going to be like uh, kuna mahali utaenda ku upload after this ama venye imekuwa live ni hivyo um the idea is to cut it up and use it for purposes of marketing yeah because some of these uh, things that we talked about today were very fresh so if you can cut that up and put it out there and tell people this is a new thing that we're doing this is what we do uh, this this is beginning of a new era this is a beginning of a new era it's high, it's high time to toe ma mediocre kwa to tumalize mediocrity kwa industry unajua mediocrity imekuwa juu sana and it has reached a point that watu wanaingilia industry yetu wanasema am grow amfanyi nini amwendi wapi na for the longest time tulikuwa tunangojea maybe kuna sponsors watatokea na nini unaona but ni vizuri mtu akiwa akitaka ku sponsor akitaka kufanya nini but before mtu a sponsor it's good tujaribu tu kuonesha it's good mtu aendelee unaona kama nyinyi sasa for example mmekuja tu hapa mme by the santeni sana unajua walikuwa nasema online is the future it's not the future ndio iko saa hizi unaona so hata usipopata sponsor usipopata nini bado utakuja ufanye nini ufanye interview so hiyo ndio notion ambayo tunataka kuweka kwa akili watu kwa sababu kuna wasanii wengine wengi bado ambao wanajiuliza nitaanza aje kitu e, nitangojea nani wakati mtu ambaye unangojea sometimes pia ana issue na wewe anaona unaweza fanya kitu lakini ya hakuji kukusaidia so tunataka tu kuonesha watu unaweza fanya kivi yako dunia sasa hizi imefika mahali ya uhitaji mtu atoke huko hakuji aku Okay, aku push. You can do it on your own. Si mnaona nyinyi kama nyinyi online mmebadilishia mainstream kimichezo mchezo tu. Mm. Eh, sasa hizi news zote tunapata online through the TV. Na muona Silver Kido yuko hapa, mm. naona Glad online media na wengine wengi. So hiyo ndio spirit. Unaona? Amejaona mainstream hapa, lakini habari itaenda town. Si ndio? Habari itaenda town mbaya yeah, yeah. na bado yeah. town zingine bado tutaenda. Mm. Ndio tumeanza. Tukifanya hapa tunafanya local. Tukifanya Nigeria tunafanya international. Eh. Yeah. Of course ndio tunapaka ndio kwenda tuna intend kwenda basically because for the longest time tumekuwa gala kind of stereotype kind of stand up comedy. Mm. And if you've seen today umeona watu wenye mnajuanga kama comedian suko nje person like DJ Shiti. Leo ana court ulisema ati hautaimba nini? Ati mimi ni firimbi wo. <laughs> Lazima lazima to grow. Yeah, Ndio maana tumeleta huko so, tukasema <laughs> watu waone side nyingine. Yeah, so leo leo basically tumeweza tukuona hiyo present ya yeah, ujama na side ya huu si ati ni kuprank kwa sekila time. And there are so many other people out here wenye tunajua wenye we know we know them from other side we are calling upon them. We are not only saying at not unless unaanza you can be anywhere. Bro mpate hiyo chance na ndio sisi sote pia tumekamp hapa ku support you. So support yeah, penye huko kama na kenyu uko nayo tusonge. Mm. And also, also also in terms of charges kuna venye alitoa posta akasema charges ndio hizi unajua kiba alinipigia tu just one call akaniambia Nick would you like to be part of this nikasema why not me I'm good in terms of comedy kwa sababu pia mimi nimeshaanza kufanya comedy out there I've been building myself in terms of stand up comedy Kenya wanijua kama uh, prankster na pia ile left right left right such in show but now uh, kibi wakati niuliza akaniambia that Uh, we are doing this show nikiwa na posta na shindua eh hey, hii charge sana unataweza nimeshangaa kuona watu close to 1000 people uh, to this place uh, no comedy show yenye uh, imekuwa headline na Kenyans iko to this stature nobody hakuna uh, show yote imefanyika so i'm really grateful na pia mimi wenyewe niko humble zaidi kwa part of this movement uh, and apparently wenye kibi amesema we are moving now from city to city second is uh, eldoret third is kitale so we are moving from city to city then after hapo dubai umesema no, no do, do, doha kata doha yes, then doha, after hapo pia kibi amesema atatunulia kila mtu s560 ama what yani kwa kitu mzuri kitu big fish anasema ama ndugu yangu kibe ama paul wa kimani ni kwamba hii ni revolution na revolution ni kujangi rais Uh, si kila mtu anazaliwa mwanaharakati tunataja mwanaharakati na kizungu activists si kila mtu ni activist sasa hii ni revolution ya kuonesha kwa hii mchezo inaweza enda bila gatekeepers hii mchezo inaweza enda bila mkono ya mtu fulani mm. tunaweza ifanya na youth mwingine yoyote huko nje anaweza amka leo naeke posters naeke vitu na wakenya watamsupport one thing napenda na wakenya unajua gatekeepers wanatuoneshanga ti 
we, wa Kenya wako na sisi but ni uongo wa Kenya wako na sisi umeona hata ndugu yetu akiwa kule US alikuwa anatupa cheche <laughs> anatupa cheche na wa Kenya walisimama naye kabisa mpaka yeah, yeah. magetkeepers wakaangusha YouTube yake lakini alirudi na ingine na baada anaendelea so hii ni revolution kwa comedy industry it's a, is the beginning of a new era there we go na bado yeah, tunataka yeah. kuona talent zingine nyingi wewe ambao uko Kapenguria wewe ambao uko Bura wewe ambao uko Mwatate wewe ambao uko Murmalanga Lego wewe ambao uko Mumia Spale Garbatula wewe ambao uko Garbatula wewe ambao uko Isiolo hii ni wakati wako kuna talent nyingi sana eh do you advocate for parental guidance to mesikia the terms of maneno na No, I do not advocate for that. No. Anybody can hear uh, it? Yeah, unajua stand up yangu kutoka sijafanya stand up for 14 years. Last time I was stand up in 2010. Lakini wasee wananijua kama Ro and uncut. No, no. Show zangu zote ziko 25 plus. So parental guidance tuko mzazi mwenye acha mtu mwenye kwa bilio 25 kukaa kwa show yangu. Yeye anafanya but mimi nafanya raw and raw raw comedy. Basically style yangu kama tu vile Kibi amesema <coughs> ama free spirit nafanya kitu logical humor na autobiographical. Right, vile Diana amearrest people the Diana ame She's only arrested him. You mean she's still playing those games? Ude mchizi ya mani. Yama ndo baya ya kuwa ukona dem mzeko kuliko. Always in control. Mtuka kasa haka bahanye sa hii. Haizi ambia dem yake kaa hapa chini wacho ukuzi. This is a nonsense case. Come on. Why would you do that to somebody and you know it's a lie? She's lying. That bitch is lying. Bitch be lying. Oh, we saw the lie. Will you pose I'm on your side? Sita kuja polisi kukutoa lakini I'm on your side, nigga. I'm on your side, man. After you did an interview with Eva, watu walikuwa na complain sana why you did with her and haujafanya na Trevor pale kwa Kenya online video. Bona huku support boy chat. Trevor, Trevor kumilipa. Mimi sina feelings. So it means that munga Eva pay. Mimi nasema Trevor alikuwa nilipe, haku nilipa. So why would I give an interview for free? Do I look stupid? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying Trevor Akunili. <laughs> no, no, but I uh, Trevor didn't ask for an interview. But Mungai asked for an interview. You've never asked for an interview. You know that. I did. No, no, you didn't ask me for an interview. The last time we talked, we were talking about other things. Trudy, Trudy, Trudy. You, you didn't ask me for an interview. None of you motherfuckers have asked me for an interview. I would have given it to you when Eve came and she asked for an interview. I was like, hey. So probably if Trevor asks you, Wakimani podcast and as you, when are we going on Friday? Yeah, on Friday. Yeah. Wakimani podcast. So probably if Trevor, Mungu na Kapunitics na Karo Mbaya, Karo Black. So Trevor, ah, that's from Kusaiya. Ah, Z. 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 Z.
maybe kuna watu wanataka kupatia biashara maybe yani sisi tunaenda nayo hivyo vile iko hakuna point mtu anafaa kujiua ama ku give up kwa sababu umefunga so e, kitu kubwa pia ni tuna ni apart from kufanya kama comedy tunafundisha pia e, mapkami mwingine okay, okay. And, and also tunaanza uh, nchangia the last one uh, in terms of dating hiyo story yenye kibe amekuwa ki address pia uh, my personal experience naweza advise watu ama especially wanaume don't date below 30 get money first then start getting this species i do i do it makes a lot of sense it really makes a lot of sense that why should you date somebody you know if you're dating somebody you are taking a responsibility as a wende huyu uko kuvi una parada 5k ma 10k mahali dem yako ndio huyu pia kona expense yake utaweza nayo kweli awezi so honestly speaking ngana si at to see date mtu mwenye yako above your age ni just don't date if you don't have fucking job apo kwa above age na kama umeguzwa aya ebuli za swali yako amuzo tumalization um I'm, I'm a citizen of the world when you're a journalist you can travel anywhere you guys don't know that you know that i'm a journalist who can't be respected so you guys need to travel so um i am here for now i don't know what the future holds but i am very optimistic okay and uh, this is the next move for me the africa is still hot we are relaunching africa in the next two months we are creating a, a better and a bigger platform so you'll see that happening and you'll see a lot of the things that i'm doing so just cheer Tigris. Why are you asking me silly questions, Trudy?